people. I think most people don't know who anybody is. Mm -hmm. There's like eight people right now in the studio, and I'll bet most people in Northwest Indiana have no clue who we are. You well, know, I think they know who you are. No too. way, no way. If I did, if I, if I just polled, let's say ten random people. Okay. Do you know who Tavis Buchan is? No. How about Z Shackelford? How about Karen Walker? How about Jerry Davich? How about anybody else here? Uh, no, 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 no. Maybe two mates say they may have heard somebody. Mm -hmm. So I think we all live in this egocentric world that we think everything revolves around us. I did some on-air stuff for Lakeshore Public Radio for two or three years in advance. And we were doing another show at a different station. And Tavis Buchan, who's the engineer and one of the producers at Lakeshore Public Radio, he listened to our show on a lark, and he mm -hmm. says, I can do the same thing for you. You should just do it here. Bigger right? and better. Bigger and better. Why don't you just do it here? So we created this kind of offbeat show of a bunch of eclectic stuff, throwing it together, right? Mm -hmm. And it, that's how it, it kind of started just from like the idea. And then we just, once we had the, an hour opening, go. Welcome back to Casual Fridays, everyone, with me, Jerry Davich, your friendly neighborhood columnist with the Post Tribune newspaper, along with my professional working woman, co-host mm -hmm. Karen Walker. Coming up on today's show, we learn about the upcoming Lakeshore Professional Women's Conference, That's an right. exciting full-day event providing high-level training and networking in an innovative and energizing format. That's right. The event takes place Friday, September 14th at the Radisson Hotel, and I plan to crash it. <laughs> it's something that I think listeners would like to hear, but mm -hmm. they don't have the, the powers that be, the you know, to make it happen. Sure. Right? And I wanted to, I wanted to put, the, it's like my column. I want to give something in my column to people that I don't think they're getting anywhere else. Right. You know, whether it's storytelling possibilities mm -hmm. or talking to people you would never know existed. I was wondering if you would be interested in doing a story um, on me and a ministry that I'm getting started. I'm doing missionary work for the Colorado wildfires. Oh, wow. I sold all my belongings on July 4th wow. to go there. Wow. And some of the things that I saw were just amazing, scary, and just incredible all the way around. Wow, isn't that amazing to sell all your belongings for a cause? Yeah. Go out to Colorado and help, you know, curb the wildfires. We're hoping it's entertaining, uh, informative, and just kind of goofy a little bit. Yes. Just to loosen people up. That's why it's called Casual Fridays. It's yeah, like, we're not your. Up. You're not. We're not. Um, not your father's talk radio. <laughs> Karen's waving to all of them. So I can never be on reality TV. No, she just keep waving totally at the cameras. Talking to the camera. You know, Karen watches time. a lot of reality TV, and every time I'm always wondering how do they not stare at the cameras? That must take some training. Yeah, I don't know. Because I would. Keep, they're supposed to be like they're not there. I would go like I'd, I'm looking at Karen. I go, hi, Karen. How are you doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm doing fine. fine. Yeah, and I'd keep waving. I'd be parting my hair. I'd be looking around, adjusting my <laughs> collar as I'm doing right now as we speak. <laughs> and we're not your typical NPR kind of show either. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, a very cerebral and, and thinking about international news. We like to make fun of little of everything. Oh, we really do. No matter what the subject is. Including us. <laughs> Especially us. <laughs> <laughs> My question to fellow guys are, when you think of the word fantasy, what word do you think of after fantasy? Wait, wait, wait for it. Oh, wait a minute. Not That's that. not it. And, and I'm a football junkie. Yes, you are. I can but read I mean, a lot of stats like real with football, you. You know, not just like, well, if I put this player and this player and we fight this team <laughs> and we have a whole team of Ditkas and we have a whole team of Loveys, you know, it's like, come on. That's how guys talk when they're drafting, too. That's kind of our goal mm -hmm. is to deliver to, to people, listeners, what they just don't get on the radio wave. Something if I'm tuning around. Now, what are they talking about? What are they laughing about? Yeah. You know, because we so always funny. seem to be laughing. I mean, especially mm -hmm. Karen. She laughs at everything. <laughs> we have all these different segments to try to touch these different mm -hmm. things like who knew who knew who knew whenever things did not go fred's way he would clutch his chest and he'd fake having a heart attack saying variations of hear that elizabeth i'm coming to join you honey while taping the series the royal family which he was on red fox complained of chest pains and no one took him seriously until it was too late to save his life allegedly i didn't yeah. know that who knew who knew, who knew? Who knew? that's really 
really kind of sad. And we have the art of Facebook with Greg Hertzlieb from VU um, Valparaiso University. Wasn't there something about uh, having a camera and being naked? <laughs> yes, there's <laughs> a camera. Over part of it. There's a camera in the studio right now. <laughs> Prince Harry is with us, oh, and hey. he's, he's, he's still half naked. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we. Now you know you. why he's named Prince Harry, I suppose. <laughs> oh, but oh, boy. Karen's pop culture update. No, oh, go but he goes up and he takes these lovely ladies up to his room with him. They play a game of strip billiards. What? And so he takes a picture. Only and of, British do that. And right? of course, you know. They send that picture all over. But I will tell you the ironic thing is, it has made every paper in the land except England. Sometimes we have my weekly rant. I'm always yeah. mad about something. <laughs> they don't know you. They don't know me. You your place, they don't Andy. know many people. They know Mitt Romney. You know, they know Obama. Yeah. They know some bigger names. They don't mm-hmm. know us, generally speaking, especially sure. Lake County voters who you need to get into office. Yeah. So get out there and campaign more, I guess, Andy. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's rant number three. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along here. No, and I'm just trying to engage we people. En- exactly. Hi, this is Jerry Davich, host of Casual Fridays here on the Lakeshore, along with my libertarian-minded co-host, Karen Walker. On this week's show, Jerry and I talked to Rupert Bonham, the libertarian candidate for Indiana governor, who made a recent campaign swing through Northwest Indiana. That's right. I shadowed the popular and memorable reality TV star from Survivor fame, and I found him not only to be likable, but votable, too. Votable? Is that even a word? Come on, tune in this Friday at noon and find out. And again at 11 p.m. 89.1 FM, The The Lake Shore. Shore. I would like to see Casual Fridays uh, conquer the world. (laughs) I would like to see us on satellite radio, all 50 states, (laughs) and Canada. We want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. Thank God it's... (laughs)